A University of Maryland sophomore says students like her who terminated their housing contracts due to COVID are having trouble returning to on-campus housing. In a Diamondback Cop op-ed, Rebecca Schur says not only was it difficult to cancel her housing contract, but says UMD punishes students who are temporarily unable to live on campus. My freshman year was in the fall of 2020, which we all know was a very tumultuous year. The COVID pandemic was exacerbated uh, all throughout the country, but especially at a large university. So I tried to be very careful. I wore masks everywhere. And somehow, unfortunately, I still contracted COVID-19. So when I decided that I wanted to move home in the spring, I didn't realize that it would be so difficult. I filed a petition for release. The petition was denied, so I had to submit further documentation. And then after my petition was finally granted, I later learned that I would not be as eligible as other students for on-campus housing. I would have very low priority for dorms or even for on-campus apartments. Schur says students should be given a chance to explain why they should be provided on-campus housing and not penalized for hardships or extenuating circumstances.